Hi. Hello, good night. Good evening. I always say good evening because good night is bye bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good evening to say hi. You're always the first one. That's awesome. Good, good, good. Always on time. How was the weekend, Osman? Um, I am fine because I, 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 yo no tenía, I didn't have, I didn't have a weekend off, uh, since five months. Wow, you hadn't have a weekend off for five months. You hadn't have. Yes, because I I I work. Uh huh. And where do you work? I work in Banco Promerica. Wow. So they finally gave you the weekend off. Yes. Uh, the this weekend, uh, I was my my third weekend off in four months. <laughs> Well, that's good. Finally, you deserved it. Hi, Esther. How are you this evening? Hi, teacher. Good, and you? I'm doing great. Everything is good. How was Hi. the weekend? What did you do? I have some stuff in my house. Clean my house in my clothes and prepare for all week. Boring week, right, weekend, right? <laughs> but it's also necessary. Yes. And you feel good. You're like, okay, I'm ready for the week. So it's also necessary. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear you had a decent weekend. Either productive or you had time to rest. That's good. We're going to begin. Okay. Last thing we were talking about was the difference between going to and will. I'm going to message your classmates because I don't know. Intermediate one. I'm waiting for you. <clears throat> there, I sent the message because it's only the three of us. Okay, so we looked at the difference between going to and will, right? And we said that if you don't, if you hesitate, if you want to use maybe, probably, I guess it's better to use will, right? So first thing we're gonna do is, let's do this listening. First, let's read the questions, just the questions. Can you read the first one instead? Where are the girls going stay? At, at a hotel, at a relative beach house, at a young, you just hostel, I don't know how to say young. Um, that's a youth. Youth still. Hostel. Mm -hmm. At a youth hostel. Yeah. Very good. Second question, Osman. Uh, Julia is the second speaker. When plans does she have for the weekend? Very good. We're not going to read the options, just the questions. Alan. Hi, Alan. Welcome. Good night. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Can you read question three, please? Good night, Julia. Sorry, I didn't I didn't hear or, or read. Here, just read the third question. That's it. We're gonna do the listening. Okay, I will read it. What might Julia do with her cousin? Okay, number four, Jose Luis, can you hear us? Yeah, there you are. I am booking for this weekend. I am, I am going, I am going to go camping. Camping, right. And number five, Alan, you're ready to read? Yes. Okay. What should you say if you are unsure? Yes. 
What should you say if you are unsure? Right. So these Maybe are the questions will... we're going to be answering from the video. Right. Let's listen to the video and answer the questions and tell me the answers. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Okay. I don't know if we're... Well, anyway, let's try to answer the questions. Uh, what do you think number one is? Where are the girls going to stay? At the, at the relative beach house. At a relatives. What is the meaning of relatives, guys? Aliente. Yes, that's the one. Okay, Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? She's going to... What plans does she have for the weekend? She will do the big no idea. Food. She's going to boating. She's going to go camping. Camping, you think? She said something mm -mm, with her mm -mm. passing, but I don't know. No, I, had, I, I think she's going to go to the beach. To the beach. Hmm. We might have to listen to it one more time. Girls, uh, what are they going to do with the cussing? Okay. And some of the questions are not related to the audio. So the first thing I want you to do is this. Look, <clears throat> I sent you this to the group. I sent this, this image. Well, you cannot see it here. But I sent it to the group. So we can practice it. We're going to practice that in pairs and then we'll review the answers. Okay. So let's practice the dialogue. Ready? Okay. All right. Let's work in pairs. Accept the invitation, please. Practice and take turns. Here we go. Okay, who wanna start? I'm Julia. Okay, I'm, I'm Nancy. I'm Nancy. <laughs> I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I just stayed home. Maybe I watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to surfing every day. Sounds like fun. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. That would sound like fun. Hi. Hello. Hello. It's your turn. Do you want to be Julia or Nancy? Um, Julia. Hey, you start. Okay, I am so so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? Wait, 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 wait. I lost. Fail. 
I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? What about you? Any plans? Uh, yeah, I am going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We are going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Is say why don't you come? Why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll be in my surfboard. Okay. All right, you finished. Yeah. Now I think yeah. you'll have the answers. Let's go back. Alrighty, I think you have the answers now because we were able to practice the dialogue. So the question was, what plans does she have for the weekend? What is she going to do? The beach, right? With her cousin. What might Julia do with her cousin? Stay home, go shopping or go fishing? Based on the dialogue, guys. Stay home all day. You think? Okay. Well, let's see. Um, I am booked for this weekend. I. This is not based on the dialogue. It's so confusing. Anyway, look, it says I am booked. So I think this is a plan. It's guaranteed. So what should we use? Will or going to? When you're sure about a plan, what do you use? Will or going to, Alan? Oh, you're on mute. Sorry. Uh, if I'm not sure, I I use um, I will. Mm -hmm. No, uh -huh, yes. If I'm, if I'm not sure, I use will. I think this person is saying she's sure because it's I'm booked, like I'm not available. So we're gonna use I am going to. I think this is the right answer, it should be. So what should you say if you're unsure? I'm going to, I will, or maybe I will leave around the end of June. What do you think? If you are unsure, mm -hmm. I will. Maybe. Yes, exactly. You say maybe combined with will. Let's see. Let's see if these are the right answers. Oh, there's a mistake. Which one is it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hi. What are you doing? Maybe they're going to go fishing. Let me see. Or shopping. No idea. They're going to go fishing. fishing. That's the answer. Yes. Okay, can you complete this with me, guys? Because you have until Friday to finish the platform. So if you can, do it with me right now, please. It's section 5.3. First answer is at a relative beach house. Two, she's going to go to the beach. Three, go fishing. Four, well, I'm going to go camping. The reason why I know this answer is because the person is saying I am booked. So I think the person is sure it's a plan, okay? And if you're unsure, you should combine maybe or probably the expressions we learned with will. Okay, so these are the answers here. Any questions about this? Uh, no. Nope. All righty, let's move on then. Yes. We're about to finish everything. So hold on. This was a very short section, if that is the case. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Now, what we can do then, do you have questions about differences between will and going to? We only have to do the final exam. That's it. So that means tomorrow and on Wednesday, we're going to be practicing and reviewing all the sections. Okay. So again, do you have questions about the differences between will and going to?
No? Mm, no. Everything clear? We'll, we'll or going to. Mm -hmm. We use will when we are not. When we are unsure. And what are the expressions we use with will? One of them is maybe. What else? Maybe Probably. I will. Probably. 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 What else? Perhaps. Yeah, it's not in the video, but it is. It is one of them. What else? Maybe. Uh -huh, maybe. Um, I think. That's another one. I can say, I think I will go to school, for example, on Monday, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do now, just to practice, is we're gonna talk about traveling, okay? Let me send you the first question. Okay. Here's the first one. So first question says, where do you like to go on vacation? Did you get the questions? I'm gonna send you some more, we have a lot of them. All right, so where do you like to go on vacation? Put everything in practice. This one that says, where would you like to? You have to follow the same structure, okay? And use would. You would say, I would like to go. Okay, so follow the first one. The first one is present simple. It says, where do you like? You simply say, I like this. If it's would, you say, I would like to. So pay attention to the structure of the question and answer respecting it, okay? Ready? Okay, ready. Right, we're gonna make groups of three, here we go. Let me see, mm -hmm. three, three, two. Accept the invitation, please, let's practice. I will send you more questions in a second. Who wants to read the first question? Okay, where do you like to go on vacation? Tatiana? On vacation. On vacation, vacation, vacation. Vacation, yes. Where do you like? Where do you to like to go on vacation, on vacation? Osman? Vacation. Um, in my vacation, I I will go into the beach. No, I like in general. The question is in general. Where do you like to go? Um, I, you like going to the beach, I, what else? I like to go to the beach and I like to go the mountains. To the mountains. Um, mm -hmm. I visit, uh, how do you say pueblos? Towns. Um, uh, I, I, I like to know down, not down. Town, the T. Más educado. Yes, yes. Teacher, what's mm -hmm. the difference from where do you like to go on vacation and where will you like to go on vacation? Okay, would transforms the verb into ia. So it's not the same if you say where do you like to go in general or where would you like, donde te gustaría. That's like imaginary. Okay. Yeah, that's the difference. The first one is in general. Second one is uh, a wish you have. Thank you. So tell your partner about your best travel story. History. I think that's travel story. 
Let me see. Yeah, best travel story. Share an experience with us, Esther. Uh, best um, trip. Just in, in this, this day, a year ago, we're going to my five, uh, eight friends and me to Ciudad de Mexico. Mm -hmm. Eight friends and you. Wow. Eight friends and me. So it, How did you it, like that? Um, it's the best trip because we all put um, finally uh, decide and all we we going we, I don't know how to say it, but nos pusimos de acuerdo al fin yeah all of you agreed all, on a date finally all of we all of us, all of us put, agreed, agreed for going to this trip so Mm -hmm. It's uh, wow. we going to we go uh, uh, so many places and enjoy the we went. all the trip. We went to so many we places. Went. In the past. We went so many places. Yeah, that's very difficult to coordinate on a date with eight <laughs> people. Yes, that's difficult. It's tighter, but all we all enjoy all the all the trip. So it's funny. Hmm? Yeah, but it must have been. What about you guys? Mando el grupo. Where is the most? Eh, como, ¿dónde has disfrutado tu mejor lugar que has estado? Ah, ya la vi. Aquí están. Es que no me habían caído. Bueno, no me había cargado acá. Uh, where is the most amazing place you have oh. seen? Uh, um, I remember um, I was I go, I went Chalatenango. I went to Chalatenango. I went to Chalatenango. Okay. Yes. I went to Chalatenango, and I don't remember name, <laughs> but um. Was was amazing place. Mm. That's it. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Ask the next uh, next question, Tatiana. Um, where are, where are the best place for? Uh, where are the best place for uh, adventure, adventure vacation, history vacation or shopping vacation? Uh, adventure vacation is when I visit uh, Amapulapa. I, how do you say, I use canoa? Uh, a canoe, I think it's called Amapulapa. Where is that in Guatemala? Uh, no, um, Rosonate. That sounds familiar. <laughs> How was the experience? It's in, in Sonsonate. Okay. How was the experience? Uh, it's, it's terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Because I I I seen I I told uh -huh. uh, uh, I told how do you say me iba a ahogar? Oh no <laughs> no but uh, Osmin terrific is positive it's something positive uh, uh -huh. so maybe terrible. Ah, terrible. Uh -huh. Because I thought I was going to drown. To drown. Drown. Yes, that's how I said drown. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> and what happened? Nothing happened, right? No, I I use a uh, chaleco. A lifesaver. Uh -huh, a Or a a a vest. 
the lifesaver vest. Nice. Uh, it was not, nothing was going to happen. <laughs> okay, one more question, and then we're going to go back. Uh, what? Yeah, you, you yes. can use it in the car, right? Yes. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Do you, do you prefer package tours or making your own trip? Uh, making my, my own trip. Your own oh, trip, yeah. right? Yes, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, you you don't need to wait the others, the other people <laughs> to go around <laughs> and watch out the things that you wanted. And you don't have to wait for anybody. For nobody, yeah. You go whatever place you want. Yeah. And you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. It's very different. Yeah. And you have your own time. Yeah. Own time. You are right. Because of that, I prefer to do my own trip. Yeah. What do you think? Can you ask yeah. a question to Raul, please? He just joined. I think he had lost his connection. Hey, Raul, how are you? <laughs> Good evening. Hey. Wait, Hi. wait. We are doing My this wife. question. Don't worry. I, I will do this question. Uh, do you prefer the package tours? Do you prefer package tours or making your own trip when you are on a on a trip? On a trip. Raul. Hola. Hey. Is oh, we lost the mic again, I think. Don't worry. <laughs> um, si preferís viajar en grupo en los paquetes de viaje o si preferís irte vos solo de viaje. Hi. I'm Malan Gardón. I am in English corporativo <laughs> conversation right now. <laughs> hey, for well, me. I like to travel to you, you travel right. alone, alone only with my family. I have with my family. It's okay. We are we are talking about the same. We are cherishing. We agree. We are agree, right? Okay. We, We're gonna we go back agree. now. Let's go back. You're okay, you worked on your fluency for a second, for a while, I hope so. So look guys, what we're gonna do uh, for the next three days is review topics, okay? Because we, we finished everything. One <clears throat> of them, one of the topics, yeah, we finished everything. But that doesn't mean we don't have classes. We still have three more classes, all right? So I need to see you in yeah. every class. Okay, one topic we we're gonna to review. The platform. Sorry? We need to complete all the platform. Yes, including the final exam, <laughs> which we're gonna review on Thursday. <laughs> You're being so dramatic. All right, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna review used to. I'm afraid. Okay. I'm afraid. Oh come on! <laughs> it's so easy. So look, we're gonna use used to in the affirmative and negative form. Okay, just okay. to review it. So uh, I'll send you one of the questions that we're going to debate. Okay, the question says, I need an affirmative and an, in a negative answer to see how you conjugate it. So the first question says, what is a food that you used to hate, but now you like? When you were a child, a food that you used to hate, but now you like. Mm. All the vegetables. Uh -huh, exactly. I used to I used, I used to to hate the vegetables, all the vegetables, but now I I eat them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So we have to use used to and then the verb in the base form, right? Okay, so that is a conjugation. Very good. And now in the negative form. 
Imagine Esther says, oh, I, I didn't used to hate anything, right? What is, how do I say that? I didn't what? I didn't. Uh... Is it used to or is it used to? What is the right one? I didn't mm. used to. Used. Uh -huh. Yes. Not, in, not uh, with the anymore because did. we have the auxiliary in the past, right? I didn't you used did. to hate anything. Peace and love. No hate for anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I used you as, a, as an example. You look like <laughs> you don't hate anything. You don't hate anybody. That's good. All right. So those are the questions. And the idea is for you to practice. Used to plus the base form and didn't used to. Okay. Simple as that. We're going to review okay. all topics this week. Ready? I am trying. I am trying to imagine how, how kind of teenager was you? <laughs> who? Where, who? Uh, I mean, I don't know. You <laughs> hate everything. <laughs> no, no, it says anything. That yeah, means nothing. You... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's practice this. We're gonna work with different people this time. Okay. Okay. So accept the invitation, please, and you have the questions on WhatsApp. Open them up. Hello. Hi guys. Hi teacher. Hello. Hi. Hello, sir. How are you? What's your list? Hi guys. Hello. You were mute. She sent something to the WhatsApp group. It's just two. Mm -hmm. The number one is what is what is a food that you used to hate but now you like? So what do you think? What do you think, Estelle? I used to hate uh, white beans, but now I like them. <laughs> <laughs> you think <laughs> white. white beans? I don't like them still. I have never liked them. That's delicious no. and so. Maybe. Yes, and so this is all the issues. Um, when I was a child, I don't like to eat tamales. No, but say I used tamales. to hate, so that we can practice I, used to. I didn't use used to. I, I used to hate tamales. But now I, I love tamales. it. Tamales. Who hates tamales? <laughs> That's not normal. <laughs> In my case, I used to hate onions, and now I love onions. Really? Yes. Uh, empanizado? Maybe. No. Like breaded? No, no, breaded. No, in, in a dish, you cook with them. That's what I mean. Not, not like biting the onion. <laughs> That's not what I mean. <laughs> okay, next question. Can you read the next question, Osmin, and Jose Luis answer? Um, tell me, uh, what do you... No, uh -huh. Uh, tell me what do you use? No, read, read the next question. <laughs> Second one here. Uh, who did you used to get go grace in the high school? Ah, uh, you're in the other no, it's the other image. But that's an interesting question. Did you used to get good grades in high school, Jose Luis? Mm, yes, yes, I I used to 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 get a good grades ever in the in the school. Always. Always. Mm -hmm. 
What do you mean by good grades? Nine and ten? Yeah. Mm, Six. To eight to, <laughs> to, to, to ten. From eight to ten. And you, Esther? You too? Eight to ten. <laughs> eight I imagine. Ten. So you, Victor? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> seven. <laughs> Seven, eight. The ten for the four <laughs> people. Five to, to seven. Uh, six, the, the, the ten for four people. <laughs> the different scale. And you, Osmin, did you used to get good grades in high yes, school? Yes, I, I have. I was uh, um, excellent. Ah. <laughs> 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 yeah, you were like in the honor roll, you call it. Yes, my note, my note my was grade? my braid. Where? My braid uh, was eight and nine. Okay. So you guys. What about uh, you, teacher? <laughs> <laughs> well, for example, in my in five my five, I got nine point three. <laughs> so that tells you <laughs> it, it was your cool sorry no 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 was the, it your cool no from the university I also graduated with honor rolls cum laude I think it is I don't know how you call it so yeah all, all the time I've been no. studios except now okay <laughs> good good students let me see, what else? Did you used to have a pet when you were little? I used to have a dog. Mm -hmm. I didn't used to, my mother hated pets. And you wanted one? Yeah. Yes. From your face, I can tell you wanted one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jose Luis, do you have a pet or did you used to have one? Yes, I, I used to, to to have a pet when I was a child, but my father always uh, used to give them for the other people. And oh, so no. I, I only <laughs> have the, the pet for a, a prayer or, or days. You suffered? Did it hurt you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. I used to play basketball all my life. <laughs> okay, when, when I was a, a young boy. Hey, yeah, I forgot. I used to play basketball every day too. And you don't play anymore, Alan? Yeah, sometimes when I when I have some spend time. Yeah, for some my free own, time. Some free time, yeah. Or leisure and, time. Yeah, but I usually don't <laughs> don't mm -hmm. have enough time. Where do you guys live? I live in El Salvador. Oh yeah, but what city? I live in Colombia. <laughs> Colombia. I live in Colombia, but I I I I grew up in San Juan Pico. Okay, but what part of Colón, Alan? Yeah, What's it's uh, the name of the name. You live in San Agustin. San Agustin, right? Yes, I, I you know too, that's, Noel? that's no. I live in in Opico. Uh, oh, really? I near my my house is near the San Agustin. I live in La Mercedes. Ah, okay. Mercedes. Okay. You know the place I know in in San Juan Pico Noel is City del Niño. Yeah, I have friends no, that live there. A, like a two kilometers above, uh, two miles. Do you know? Do you know Pavos S.A.? Miss? Ah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, when uh, you it's... pass by it, it stinks, I remember. Yeah, but but Quintas Las Mercedes is in the other in the other side of the road. Ah, uh, you are traveling yeah. from Santana to San Salvador. Yeah. Okay, I understand, but I know. It's on that part of the road. Yeah. Okay, very good. Well, sorry guys, let's continue with the questions. What's the next question? Okay, what used to be and uh, where did you used to play when you were a child? I did, I, I used to play in Parque Infantil. <laughs> okay, that's good. I, I used to play 
William Ladrón, I used to play Toca Cumba, I used to play <laughs> Mika, I used to play eh, Pecado, I used to play Pecado. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sí. <laughs> yeah. And you, Raúl and Tatiana, I haven't heard you. Uh, I, I used to play eh, Ladrón Librado and I used to play Chibola, Canica. Mm -hmm. Trompo, and yo -yo. Uh -huh. I used to play <laughs> Trompo, yes. Yeah. Tatiana. Ah, yeah. Who's Tatiana? Hi, Tatiana. <laughs> ah, Tatiana, how are you? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I used to play um, Sabor It Out. Ah, okay. That's, that's I you huh? I know Sabor It Out. Uh, um, I play, I used to play, um, outside my, my house. Ah, okay. Ah, mm -hmm. sorry. I, I didn't understand the question. Sorry. Where did you used to play? And I, and I think that <laughs> what did you used to play when you were games. a child? Uh, you okay. said games. <laughs> yeah, I I all uh, I I said games. Well, where do you used to play? On the street, on my block, <laughs> yeah. on my barrio, on the barrio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tatiana, can you read the next question, please? Uh, how often do you used to get in tro trouble when you were younger? Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah. What did you use all the time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Noel and um, Alan all the time. Wow. No, no, <laughs> I, I, I was a, a good boy. I, I think. <laughs> I, I was a little balia. <laughs> but, but, but when the grades, uh, when my parents have my grades. Mm. I always, uh, I used to having problems, always. And you, Raul? Uh, I don't understand that question. Uh, did you used to get in trouble? Get in trouble is meterse en problemas. Oh. ¿Con qué frecuencia te metías en problemas cuando estabas chiquito? Sí, solía meterse en pues problemas. Sí. Used to es solía. Que si era okay. malacate, la pregunta. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't use to get in trouble. To get in trouble. Y abajo a la abuela y todo eso. You need it, right? <laughs> Tatiana. You didn't get in trouble, right? You didn't used to get in trouble. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I never have a problem. Yeah. Okay, what mm -hmm. about you, Miss? So, you look like that. What about you, Miss? <laughs> I I see your face no, I never that you trouble. always were in trouble. <laughs> no, I was never in trouble. Never. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you you drink. Drink. Never in trouble. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 to yeah to fake it right yeah. <laughs> all right guys let's Please. go back hmm. welcome back good memories of your childhood right yeah. you had a lot of studios people here <laughs> with the first second third place in school People who got in trouble like Alan and Noel all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there is one topic that was sort of difficult for you guys, and it was the indirect questions. Do you remember indirect questions? That was a difficult topic, right? Indirect okay. Question. We're going to yeah. practice this topic tomorrow, but I want us to start right now. So I'm going to give you a question. Remember that with the indirect questions, you're going to start with, with an expression. What are expressions that we use? 
What are some expressions? I will give you one. And you tell me what else. Will you tell me? You tell me. Do you know? Okay. These are some expressions. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a direct question and we have to transform it into indirect. Okay. So the question is a yes, no question. It's going to be, did you imagine, did you have a pet? This is the question. Now we need to make it indirect. How do we do that? We need, a, we need the expression. Then we need if, if it's a yes, no question or WH. Then we need the subject. And finally, we need the statement. Negative, affirmative, any tense. In this case, I want us to practice in the past, okay? <clears throat> so let's do it. This is the structure. All right, we're gonna say, can you tell me, is this a yes, no question or a WH question? What kind of question is it? It's a yes, no question. So we're gonna use if, all right? So can you tell me if, what is the subject? Pet, tell no. me if. No. This is the question we're trying to transform. Did you have a pet? Uh -huh. Can so you can tell, you me, tell me, if you me if you have a pet? But the question is in the past. So the statement has to be in the past. What is the past of have? Has. Have. Have. Have with D. This is the indirect questions, guys. The indirect question. Can you tell me if you had a pet? Look, you had a pet. That's a statement right there. Okay. Another example. Did she live with you? I don't know. <laughs> so we need the expression again, right? Can you tell me? Uh-huh. If she lives. She, but it has to be in the past because this is a question in the she past. Look. She lived. Can you tell me if she is your? <laughs> no, if she <laughs> lived. Live. In the past with yeah. you. That is the indirect question. One more in the last one, okay? Did we have classes yesterday? No, we didn't. Okay. Now I'm gonna use, do you know? That is the expression. How do I complement this? How do I complete it? Do you know if we had class yesterday? Exactly. Do you know if we had classes yesterday? And this is a more polite way of asking. Okay. Now I will give you examples with WH. Tomorrow when we start the class, we're gonna do exercises about this topic. Okay, I'm just trying to refresh the topic a little bit. So now we're going to practice WH questions, okay? Sweet. For example, <laughs> uh, where did you go on Sunday? So we're going to start by saying, can you tell me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you tell me if? Uh -huh. No, but hold on. I'm probably going to copy paste this. So if, if it's a yes, no question. If it's a WH question, we need the WH word. Okay, so here's the structure. Can you tell me where did you? Where, exactly, where. Can you tell me where. And now I need the subject. Did you go? You, mm -hmm. and now I need the statement. You, what is the verb in the past? Went. Went, exactly. Can you tell me where you went on Sunday? This is a indirect question. Okay. One more example. When did we arrive? Okay. So again, can you tell me? Can you tell me? Can you tell me when? Yes. When, when we arrive, when now I need the when, subject. When we, we, 
uh, when we arrive. Mm -hmm. arrive with D in right. the past. It has to be in the right. past, okay? And we don't use the auxiliary anymore because it's not a question, it's an indirect question. Okay, now the last example. Last one. Okay, it's gonna be why. Why did you come late? Okay, so I'm gonna say, can you tell me? Um, why? Uh -huh. Why? You? Yes. You came late. Came late. Yes, and that is the indirect came question. Late. So tomorrow we're gonna practice this structure. Is it clear right now? I think with practice, yeah. it will be good, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this was yeah. a difficult topic. So we're going to study this tomorrow, OK? All right. Um, do you have any questions? No. No? All good? OK, work on the platform, please. We're about to finish. I hope to see you tomorrow, OK? It was good seeing you. And have a good night. Take good care, night. guys. Okay, good night, good night. 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 Good night, everyone.